when you look at the report, one thing you'll see is we looked at market share among manufacturers. What what are the leading vendors and, and kind of what are manufacturers and distributors out there um, picking for their ERP solutions? And in 2013, or I'm sorry, in, in 2012, which is when a majority of these implementations happened, we looked at manufacturing companies that had recently selected and implemented ERP to look at which vendors they were using. And in this case, you can see that the number one vendor were, was actually a combination of tier two solutions. Some of the top vendors by market share, uh, again, just giving a little bit more detail and kind of shedding some uh, light on what, what was just discussed. You can see that in manufacturing, for example, SAP, for example, has a lower market share within manufacturing compared to all the other industries uh, that we, we covered in our study. Oracle, by contrast, has actually a higher market share in manufacturing, and, and that's largely because of the J.D. Edwards product, which is heavily, um, which is heavily tailored toward uh, manufacturing and distribution companies. Microsoft is another example with lower market share here. But you can see companies like Epicor, Infor, IFS, Unit 4, uh, companies that have significantly more market share in the manufacturing space than they do in other industries because of their focus on the manufacturing space. When we look at uh, actual time to implement, um, actual versus expected, the, the expected is in blue, actual is in red. If you look at all industries, it's pretty close, surprisingly. Mo this last year we found that the time, at least, to implement ERP solutions wasn't as much of an issue as it had been in years past. It was pretty close. But when you look at manufacturing in general, that's where there were problems. So you see there was a delta here of the, the expected versus actual. And so manufacturers, you know, kind of a, a blind spot, I guess you could say, for manufacturing organizations is that they weren't able to predict as accurately as other industries how long their ERP implementations were going to take. And those implementations, by the way, on average, ended up taking about uh, 19 months, I believe. And if we look at why some of these problems happen or why some of these implementation durations took so long, you can see a similar pattern here. Again, starting at the bottom where are, the, are the top responses. You see that organizational issues, that's the number one reason why companies, manufacturers are taking longer than expected. And, you know, that's not surprising because a lot of times uh, manufacturing companies historically are more focused on their product and they're more focused on logistics and kind of developing world-class processes and competitive advantages as it relates to their products and logistics. And they're not always as focused on organizational issues. Uh, if you look at, by contrast, a, a financial services firm or a government entity, they're generally going to be a little bit more focused on organizational issues as a company or as an organization, more so than a manufacturing or, uh, company. And I know that's a broad stereotype that, you know, it may not be true in all cases, but uh, as, a, as a general rule of thumb, that's what we find a, a difference to be. So these organizational issues are, are huge, and that's why change management ends up being especially important for manufacturing companies uh, in order to make their ERP project successful. When we look at cost as a percentage of annual revenue, that number is, is a bit different, too. I think the average overall is right around in the low, it looks like it's in the low five percentages, the, the five point something percent, somewhere between five and five and a half percent. And then for manufacturing, that number is closer to 6%. And what that number means is if you take, if you kind of normalize implementation cost based on the size of a company and look at the percentage of the company's annual revenue that it takes to implement the ERP solution, that's what this number is. So in other words, if you're a $100 million manufacturer, this number is suggesting that you're going to spend somewhere close to $6 million on average for your ERP implementation. So that, that uh, close to 6% figure includes everything from software licensees to implementation to hardware upgrades. It even includes internal resources that are allocated to the project. Um, basically, any cost associated with the ERP implementation that the manufacturers in the study reported uh, are captured here. Now, when we look at the payback periods, that's another interesting data point. Um, you can see that 50% of the manufacturers hadn't yet recouped their cost of their investment. And then you have um, the other half have recouped it somewhere between one and five years or more. Most of them that have recouped their costs are falling in that two to four year payback period, which means that's the amount of time that they, they have identified uh, the benefits to have covered the cost of the implementation. So they've been able to go back and measure tangible benefits that have uh, covered the cost of their total cost of ownership and the total implementation um, 
in two to four years in most cases. If you're interested in this kind of content that we shared here today, uh, this just kind of scratches the surface on some of the topics that we cover at our ERP boot camp and vendor showdown, which is something we do a few times a year throughout the country. This next one is going to be in February, February 3rd through the 5th, which is right after uh, the Super Bowl, by the way, for those of you that enjoy the Super Bowl. Um, that'll be the, the week following uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, it's, it's a great three-day training session. We've, we've dramatically increased or, or expanded the agenda for this year uh, to include four different tracks. Um, two of those tracks will be focused on ERP best practices and technology agnostic guidance on software selection, implementation, project management, change management. Uh, and we're also going to have, within those two tracks, also manufacturing distribution focused content um, for manufacturers and distributors because we do so much work in that industry.